So I recently compared the newly launched NZXT TKL and TKL mini keyboards and in that video I kind of promised another video after I used any one of these keyboards extensively. So in this video I'm going to talk about the video I promised in that older video. Uh. Hey everyone Mukul here. So I generally can't use a keyboard happily unless it's a full size keyboard and trying to forcibly stick myself to a TKL form factor was tough. Uh, not really that tough, but somewhat tough, a little tough, slightly tougher. But this isn't about my personal liking of TKL or full size keyboards. So I'm not going to go deeper into that or I might just do who's stopping me. I decided to experience the TKL and not the TKL mini as I am really used to the spacing between the function keys and other sets of keys typically on my full size keyboard. And the size difference isn't that drastic. So I really don't want to train my brain for a different sort of layout. Well, I have been using the function TKL for more than a month now. And these are some of my observations that are here for you to observe. Despite having the top metal surface white, the keyboard has withstood my torturous, untidy way of keeping stuff. The whole area is completely spot free so far, but I really can't be sure if that statement will stand true after several months of use. The keys have also retained their finish so far and the volume control knob still looks good as on day one. And yes, I've used that volume control knob several times in the past weeks. Mainly I used to control the volume on my PC via this volume 2 software with using the mouse scroll key over the taskbar area. But the knobs on these function keyboards have become a great utility too as it's pretty convenient to reach them for a quick volume adjustment. What I still haven't gotten used to are the three buttons on the left hand side of the keyboard. At most, I can only recall the RGB adjustment light, which is the bottommost button. And for this, I would blame the fact that the symbols which denote what these buttons do are on the edge and not on the keyboard's top layout. Well, this definitely makes the keyboard look clean and I like the way it already is. But I'm pretty sure I won't be the only user with this habitual habit of forgetting habitual stuff. Most of the keys do sound how they did sound when I first started using the keyboard. But the spacebar key is one key that has started to sound a little tiny bit rattly. I did suspect this might happen in the beginning and it looks like uh, my suspicion turned out to be true. So I'm starting a new series called True Suspicions. What I loved and still love is the actuation force on these Gatron red switches. The keys feel so feather light that I can happily use them all day long. Typing a lot with these Gatron red switches has been a pleasant, almost completely frictionless experience. But I do honestly miss not having the numpad keys on the keyboard as I do a lot of accounting for all the food I eat every single month. I mean, you got to know in the end how much you ate and how much are you about to save or not to save, not save. I also miss not having them uh, when I have to put a lot of numeric values on the variety of software I use in my daily work. But this is just me terribly nitpicking on stuff that is a core feature of a TKL layout keyboard. I mean, if you want a smaller form factor keyboard with the keys being of standard size, then you are going to miss a few of these sweet keys on the keyboard. I guess one can easily get used to a TKL layout, especially if your work doesn't involve playing with numbers a lot. But this experience has definitely taught me that, uh, nope, I have never ever trained my brain for these sets of numeric keys. The keyboard also comes with a wrist rest that has a soft finish over it. But because my hands and wrists are very much self-reliant, I couldn't make good use of it. But if your wrist needs a supportive hand, then this wrist rest can be that supportive hand for your hands and the palm and the wrist. And yeah, as already discussed in my previous video, the NZXT Cam software has a bunch of RGB customization options, which are plenty for anyone's use. But I just mostly use it with this flat white lighting and I like how bright the switches and the LEDs can get. Unlike your future. So this is about it. A quick long term experience. Quick long term. If you end up choosing this keyboard, the affiliate links will be in the description below. You can also hop onto a Discord server for more chit chat on relevant content. So stay safe humans. Mewbot with his numpad keys out.